Hello my beautiful friends, welcome back to my channel and thanks so much for watching. Today I am sharing a how to style flannel video. This is a highly requested video that I get. Sorry the lighting's like super crazy. This is a highly requested video I get and of course the week I'm ready to film it, I'm gonna film all these cute looks, a hurricane hits and it's dark and gloomy. So I'm working with the lighting that I got. We'll see how this goes. So everything is gonna be linked in the description bar below for you guys to shop directly. Um, I try to make my description box as easy as possible for you guys to kind of understand and find what you need. So not only will the outfit be linked down there, but like hair, makeup, details, outfit details, all of it's gonna be down there. And also while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you guys join the family. I put up three videos a week in a lot of fashion content, but also like beauty and lifestyle. And I'd love to have you join also don't forget to follow me on my Instagram. I say it a lot, like I have a lot of giveaways that are going on there, especially now that we are in holiday time, but I share a lot of outfits there as well. Um, so you have probably seen some of these on there already. So make sure that you're following me on all fronts and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so what I really love about flannels and styling flannels is that you can literally take this exact outfit, the same booties, leggings, top, hat, change out the flannel and the look, it just looks completely different. So that is what I really love about flannel styling. They're also real easy um, just to throw on. So this first one is actually an old one from Abercrombie. I'm pretty sure it was my brother's in like middle school. Um, so I'll link a bunch of my favorite flannels in the description bar below for you guys. They are everywhere right now. You can find them at all different price points, whether you want to go more high end or a little bit more affordable you literally can find them everywhere. So this is just the flannel that I'm wearing for this first one. And you guys know, I always say it, it like wouldn't be a styling video if I didn't put a hat on for one. So I figured we'd start out with that today. So for this first look, I wanted to go a little bit edgy. So I styled the flannel open with this tiger tee. It is currently on sale when I'm filming this. I'm not sure if it's still will be on sale by the time this video goes live. Um, but even then, I think at full price, it's only like 25 bucks. And then these leggings, you guys, oh my goodness. They are the Abercrombie version. They're like vegan leather of Spanx. So Abercrombie version of Spanx leggings, and they are amazing. I love that they have zipper detail on the side. Again, I'm going for kind of an edgy look here. And then I just did nude booties and the um, hat from Amazon that I wear a lot. So this is definitely more of an edgy style, not like super basic, I guess, but I gravitate more towards an edgy style as well. So I love this. You could even like just tie it around your waist. I'll show you a few of those looks, but this is such a good first look for a flannel for fall. Okay, so the next look is that same flannel from Abercrombie and the same exact faux leather leggings, but I threw on a denim jacket. Um, this one is from Levi's. It's actually a men's like trucker jacket, but if you take good care of your stuff, it will literally last forever, especially if it's Levi's. Um, so I love to throw on a good denim jacket with flannels. I like to share a lot of the same pieces in my try on hauls because I'm always trying to like make a point that certain basics in your closet can be worn literally hundreds of different ways. So this is one of those pieces for sure. Um, I love a good jean jacket, but I also styled it with these, I guess you'd call them sorrel lookalikes. So these are from Target. They are like wedge booties, wedge boots. I'm not quite sure what you'd call them. Um, I was a little hesitant to buy them because I wasn't sure about the heel height. I couldn't find like a direct answer about that online. The heel height's about three inches, but y'all, these are without a doubt the most comfortable shoes I've ever purchased from Target. And I mean, you guys, like if you've been following me for a while, I don't give up comfort for the look of something. So um, I'm all about comfortable shoes and these are like the most comfortable of any shoe I've ever purchased from Target. So this is definitely more of a good cool weather outfit. This is probably something I would wear to be basic and go to like an apple orchard or a pumpkin patch, which I have not done this year yet. I'm really bummed about it. We're doing it soon. Um, but I love this. These shoes are very good in lots of different weather. I've worn them a lot this weekend just because of the crazy rain and the hurricane and stuff and they've held up really well. So this is the second look for how to style a flannel. 
Okay, and then the last look I wanted to show you guys with the um, faux leather leggings is with a sweater on top. So obviously flannels are great for layering, but they can also be the underneath layer. Um, I just threw on this Amazon sweater over it. It is like a turtleneck. It is so comfortable. Now this look is going to make you look a little bit more bulky, but I mean in the fall time, especially if you live somewhere super cold, um, even in the winter, I mean I really don't think anyone should care about that. Just stay warm. Uh, this one, though, I did get this in a medium, I believe, and um, it fits really well. It's not see-through. It's a gorgeous color, and it looks just like, I believe it's the Free People sweater that was in the Nordstrom sale this year, so it's really, really nice. Um, and then I just styled it with boots. You could do the same color sweater as your boots, but you guys know if you've been here for a minute, I like to intentionally make my neutrals not match. So that's just me. Um, but I love the layering look. I think it's so unique and different from how you usually see like flannel styled. So this is the final look with the Spanx leggings, but definitely probably my favorite of the three so far. Okay, so now we are moving into outs outfits with jeans. Um, I prefer darker wash jeans pretty much all year, but especially in the fall. So these are from Target. They are universal thread. They're like 25 bucks and without a doubt, still some of the best jeans in my closet. Like I have had these for two or three years, best fitting jeans, amazing. They fit true to size. Um, and also this flannel is from Target. So this is, it's kind of confusing with the sizing. This is an oversized flannel. But right now, especially in Target clothes, I'm in a small, not a medium. I used to be in a medium, um, but since I've lost weight, you guys know I've, I've moved down to a size. So I got a medium in this because that's now oversized for me, and I'm really glad I did that. I wouldn't stick with your true size, even though it says it's oversized, just because it's not super long. And generally, I like for my flannels to be um, a lot longer in the front even. So... <sighs> If that made any sense at all go one size up um and then i have on the hat that i wore this is from amazon and i do get a lot of questions about this hat wall here um they're all from amazon and i just hang them with command hooks so very simple and then i just put on my same vince camuto boots these are the best fall boots of all time uh, they have a similar version that was in the Nordstrom sale this year. I'm not as crazy about those because the toe is super pointed. And then there's like kind of like ruching on the side. I don't know, quite know what you'd call it on boots. But um, these are like last year's version and they are so nice. You can still find them. They're very comfortable. Go up half a size in these. But this is a good way to style a flannel for fall. Very basic. Brings out the basic girl in me, but I love it. All right, so for the next look, I still have that same flannel on and same jeans, but this time I styled it with this suede jacket. This one is from Amazon. It is so soft, you guys. I went up one size because I was a little bit nervous. Everything else that I've had that's similar to this like style jacket, the shoulders are a little tight if you get your true size. So go up one and it will fit perfect. I think this is such a good color for fall, even if not with a flannel. Like you can wear this with so many different things, but obviously this is a flannel styling video. And then I just styled it with my black mules that are Steve Madden. Go up one full size if you're gonna get the leather version of these mules and then half if you're gonna get the suede just because the leather is a little bit smaller. It's so odd to me in sizing. But this is a simple outfit, really easy to replicate with things that you already have in your closet. And if not, then everything will be linked below for you guys. Okay, and then the last look for the um, jeans outfits is with this adorable jacket from Nordstrom. I am so mad, you guys. This thing is sold out currently. So it was in the Nordstrom sale, came back in stock on sale, like they said it wouldn't, and I knew it would, and it sold out again. So if, I will still link it for you guys if I can. It may not be in stock, but I will also link some similar options for you guys. If you can snag this, get it. It is the softest piece ever, um, but it has pockets and it fits really well. I did get a small. It said that it like is meant to fit oversized, which is true. I mean, I'm wearing a small and you guys can see how oversized this looks on me. So really, really soft, um, nice material and holds up well in washes. Uh, you guys know I wash and dry everything before I share it with you guys just to kind of know how it holds up in a wash and dry. And this held up beautifully. And then I just have on that same Target flannel, Target jeans, and those 
nude booties that are from Vince Camuto that I just can't get enough of. And I don't know if I've said it yet, but get your true size in these because these do fit a little bit large. Uh, I think it is the slit in the side that kind of makes your foot fit a little bit looser. So get your true size in these and this outfit will be linked below. All right, so the next look is with this flannel and I'll show it to you guys in a second. This is a Chaps flannel. Actually, it was my Papa's. So I'm not sure if they sell the same one, but it has very sentimental value to me. My sister and I both got some of his flannels and um, denim jackets when, or me and my mom, um, when he passed. So I love this flannel. I've been wearing it for years and I wanted to style it with this jean dress, chambray dress, whatever you choose to call it. Guys, stop telling me that my stuff is too short, okay? Everyone's preference is different. If I go out in public, I either wear leggings under it or I will wear biker shorts. But how short someone wears their dresses is up to them. This is fine with me. Stop telling me that my stuff's too short. It's fine. It's okay. Um, so this dress, you don't have to get it if you don't like the length, but you can wear any kind of chambray dress with it. Um, and then just tie the little flannel around your waist. I think it's such a cute style. And I also have on another version of Vince Camuto booties. If you can't tell, he is my favorite shoe designer of life. Um, I've had these for I think two years now and they are my most worn booties every fall because they have a decent sized heel but they can be dressed up lots of different ways and they are really really comfortable like I wear these to work and I can wear them for like eight hours nine hours I've worn them to installations I'm falling a lot today and um, I have no issues with them so I just chose to style that with this dress you can always tie a flannel around a dress of any kind and it looks so cute. I love this one. Um, this one is a little bit longer in the front just because of how oversized the actual flannel is. So if you didn't want it to be that long, you could definitely choose like a more fitted flannel, but I love this look. This is definitely the most like Western style. Um, and again, like this flannel is very special to me, so I love wearing it. Okay, so this is a good, really basic outfit. So this is that same Chaps flannel that I was telling you guys about. So sweet to me. I can't believe this ever fit my papa. But um, I hope they still sell the same one. If not, I'll link, again, a few similar ones. But I just love this one. I've worn it since he passed my senior year of high school. So I've worn it since then. And it's an amazing quality still. So, um, and no telling how long he had it. So I really think it's a good quality one. And I layered it underneath this off-white cardigan from Amazon. I love this Amazon Cardi because it is super soft, knitted, and it is super warm. Um, and I don't even think it was that expensive. I know I shared it in one of my fall hauls that I do um, on Amazon with you guys. And it is just such a good find. I honestly want this in every color. I might go back and buy it in a few more just because I think it's like such a good staple. Um, and then I actually just wore regular leggings with this, like just black leggings, nothing crazy. You could do jeans. And then these Walmart booties, I say this every time I share them. If they are in stock when you see them, get them because Walmart stuff sells out fast and these are really comfortable. I got my true size nine and a half and they fit perfect. They're like a vegan, I think it's like a vegan suede or something like that. I can't remember. It's like vegan something booty. Um, but I really, really like these. And for sizing on the cardigan, I got my true size. I know that. And same with the leggings, got my true size. So everything fits true to size. Um, and I love this basic look for fall. All right. And then the last look is edgy and comfortable, sporty, whatever you choose to call it. So I have on that same tiger tee that I was wearing in the beginning of the video. I love this. I love how oversized it is. I love that it's already kind of like a faded look to it. Um, and then I just wore the flannel around my waist again, just to like another little way to dress it up. But also, I mean, it's, it's pretty efficient too. Like if you wear it like this, yes, it's cute. But if you get cold, you can just take it off of your waist and wear it. So it's a great look. And then I also have these like burnt orange joggers from Amazon. I adore these joggers. They are so comfortable. They fit true to size. They're really good length and they're lightweight. Like they don't feel heavy, but they're still really warm. So um, good finds for sure. And then I styled it with my Adidas sneakers because I wanted to really keep it casual and comfortable for this last look. So that is it for how to style the flannels. I hope this gave you guys a little bit of inspiration. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did so I can know to do more of these. Also, leave me comments in the below in... 
leave me a comment below and tell me what styling videos you want to see next. I love you guys so much. Stay safe, stay sane, and I'll see you in my next video.